Namaskar. I'm Suruchi Das and you're watching Rhythm News. As China grapples with its deepening economic crisis, the world watches with growing concern. Once a symbol of unstoppable growth, the Chinese economy is now buckling under the weight of failed policies, weak global demand and mounting internal debt. While President Xi Jinping and his government scramble for solutions, their efforts appear too little too late. The sharp decline in China's exports and lackluster domestic demand have revealed cracks in what was once an economic powerhouse, raising serious questions about the country's leadership. In September, China's export growth hit a dismal 2.4%, down sharply from 8.7% growth seen in August, shattering expectations. Imports barely budged, recording a mere 0.3% increase. The trade surplus that China once boasted fell to $81.7 billion, down from August's $91 billion. Economists had forecasted much better results, expecting exports to rise by 6%. The numbers paint a grim picture, one that reflects not just temporary setbacks, but a deeper structural crisis. The weakening of China's export engine has been further aggravated by the global environment. The US and Europe have imposed higher tariffs on Chinese exports, such as electric vehicles, choking off one of the country's primary growth sectors. As if this weren't enough, China's domestic market is also showing signs of fatigue, with its property sector continuing to slump, dragging down demand for everything from construction materials to household goods. What is Beijing's response to this growing turmoil? A series of underwhelming relief packages and policy measures that has yet to deliver any real results. Xi Jinping had already rolled out a 12 lakh crore rupees package earlier this year, only to see effects fizzle out after a brief market recovery. Now, a new plan is in works, a massive loan worth 71 lakh crore aimed at easing the crushing debt burden of local governments. These municipalities are drowning in debt and the latest financial injection is intended to help them stay afloat. But can this really save China's economy? Critics argue that these patchwork solutions will do little to fix the underlying issues. China's leadership has failed to address the root cause of its economic decline. From its heavy reliance on exports to a faltering property market and the unsustainable debt carried by local governments. Even with issuance of special government bonds worth trillions of yuan, questions remain about whether this is just another short-term fix. The stakes are high. As the Chinese economy stumbles, global trade and investments are also at risk. Beijing's reluctance to implement sweeping reforms or adopt a long-term strategy has left the world's second largest economy in a precarious position. While Finance Minister Lan Fon has promised further measures, there is little confidence that they will be bold enough to reverse the downward spiral. With weakened exports, rising tariffs and debt-laden local governments, the situation is increasingly becoming a global concern. As the leadership continues to fumble, the world waits for China to face the reality of its failing policies. The question is, how long can this go on before the house of cards collapses?